Hello again, everyone. Um, a year ago, I started this channel with the intention of uh, following Alasius Niger from the start of capturing a queen to developing into a full colony. Um, I wanted to show step by step the process uh, and thereby create a record which would act as a guide to any new ant keepers who want to get into this great hobby. That year is now complete um, and the record has been created. Uh, what this has meant is a lot of videos, which is uh, quite a daunting prospect for a potential new ant keeper to go through them all. Therefore, I'm making this video to tie everything together, uh, make it easier to access the information that people might be looking for. Uh, the critical part of this video is not actually my commentary or even the pictures that you're looking at. It's going to be the links in the comments section. Um, today I'll do a very quick run through of the process, um, but what I'll do is I'll put links to all the relevant videos in the comments section and organise them by different categories so that you can quickly and easily find a particular topic and don't need to watch every video to find a certain piece of information. So if you live in the UK and you're new to ant keeping, I recommend that you first keep Lacius niger. They're an easy species to keep, um, resistant to minor mistakes, very easy to find, uh, catch a queen is easy, and most important, they're extremely bold and inquisitive, and therefore um, you really good species to watch, watch what ants do. As I said in an earlier video, if you do want to keep exotic species, it's a really good idea to keep Lacius niger first, probably for a whole year, so that you understand all the basics of ant keeping before you jump into the more complex stuff. And then what you can do is you can find out what are the differences between this ant species and Lacius niger, like use this as a base of knowledge and then add to it to find out what the differences are for a different species. So, how to raise a Lacius niger colony. It all starts with new princes um, and princesses raised in the spring by their parent nest um, and they're looking for the right conditions to fly in the nest, find a mate and then the queen to start her own brand new ant colony. Um, those new princesses who are not yet mated are called elates which basically is Greek, it means with wings. Um, and the process by which they find a mate is called the nuptial flight. Uh, I'm making this video in early June, um, and those nuptial flights are probably going to start mid to late June and will continue throughout the summer, but July will be the month when they mostly occur. Um, if you're watching this video just after release and you're new to ant keeping, then congratulations, you've decided to start at the perfect time of the year. Um, today, actually, I went for a walk around the streets outside my house. Um, I live in London, a massive city, but um, this just shows how Lacius Niger are everywhere. And it doesn't matter where you live in the UK, you will be able to find a queen. Um, I was just looking for wild nests um, to have a, a, a look at how close nuptial flights are. Um, and this is what I'd encourage any new keeper to be doing at this time of year. Um, find your wild nests and just get into a habit of checking them every day. This early in June, um, all they're doing is enlarging the chambers near the entrance to provide a place for the elates to wait for the right day. Um, but later in June, they'll start building all sorts or might start building all sorts of elaborate structures to protect the queens during takeoff. Um, and in my first video, an introduction to my channel and Lacius Niger building towers, I, I showed this, I showed some towers being built. Um, then I went on to show on this channel, as June goes on, you'll start to notice days where the elates are poking their heads out of the nest entrances, but they're not yet ready to fly. Um, you mustn't catch these elates that are just looking out the entrance. Um, they've not mated yet. Um, and then on a certain day, which will normally be a hot, humid, muggy day, uh, very light or no wind because because Lacius are not very good flyers and they, they can't cope with wind um, the nuptial flight will happen all your local nests will act together uh, and they'll fly on the same day and the elates the, the princes and the princesses will leave the nest that they were born into look for a partner from another nest in order to mate 
Um, shortly afterwards, the male ants will die. Uh, their job is done. Um, and the newly mated queens will shed their wings and can be found scuttling around on the ground looking for a suitable place to start a brand new colony. Um, these are the queens you need to catch. Uh, don't worry too much about the actual nuptial flight day. Uh, our media uh, loves to call this flying ant day like it only happens once, but um, in, in reality there'll normally be multiple nuptial flights of different sizes in each area over the course of the summer. Also, um, you'll find queens for two to three days afterwards running around looking for a new nest. Um, this is mostly actually because existing Laceus niger ne um, nests, you know, the ex established colonies are not interested in competition, like setting right up on their doorstep and uh, workers will, they'll, they'll fanatically hunt down and kill um, those queens that are looking for a new nest site. Um, and you'll actually sometimes see queens running running like mad, being chased by workers from a nest that they're, they're too near. Um, and that, that strange queen that I've got that's not developed for very well. I actually caught her with, with a dead worker clamped onto her front leg, which is probably why she hasn't done so well. But anyway, um, this is the point at which you catch your queen. Um, and when they've got no wings and they're running around on their own looking for a nest. Um, I'd actually recommend you catch a few more than one queen, uh, as sometimes things do go wrong. Um, in fact, I had a bit of a disaster last year while trying to make this guide, um, and I lost three queens um, that I started with, and I had to catch a fourth later on in August to complete the, the series. Um, yeah, the queens were just unimaginatively named by the alphabet, ABC, um, and therefore Queen D became the uh, star of the channel. Um, so once you've caught the queen, um, transfer her to a water test tube. See the links in the comments for uh, what a water test tube is and how to prepare one. I'm going to go through the process quite quickly today, um, it, but if you've got more in-depth questions, then I've probably covered that question with its own video. Um, I have a video about what equipment you'll need at the start, um, and I'll say this again, what you do not need at the start is a nest. Um, in fact, your newly caught Laceus niger queen will not be ready for a nest uh, until the spring the year after you caught her. So right now, people who caught their queens last year are moving them into their first nests. Um, and the nests they're moving them into are fairly small starter nests. Please don't get all excited. Um, start planning your dream ant farm at this stage. There's ages to go before you're at that stage. Your, your queen, your new colony, they're going to live in that test tube for months. Um, one of the videos I did showed little snippets of Queen D during her development uh, with the dates that it was happening um, to give you an idea of the time it will all take. Um, there are also many videos with a title such as Day 32 or whatever, um, so you can see what to expect from your new queen as she develops. Uh, Laceus niger are fully claustral, um, and this means that the queen lives off her own internal reserves during this period and does not need feeding. Um, you don't need to heat Laceus niger, and they do fine at room temperature. Um, but the room temperature does have to be over 20 degrees, and I know, I know some people live in cooler areas of the country or have big houses. Um, you might have rooms that don't go above 20 degrees, um, so you might need to find the best place for them. No, knowing the temperature of your ants um, is kept at is very important. It should take about seven and a half weeks, 53, 54 days from the day you capture the queen to having your first workers. Um, during that time, the, the brood goes through three stages, uh, eggs, larvae and pupa. Uh, learn the differences between the, those three stages so you can see the development happening uh, um, because later on when, you, when you've got a colony um, the quantities and stage that the brood is at tells you a lot about your colony. You, you can learn to sort of read your colony by looking at the brood and it provides very valuable feedback about what stage your colony is at. Um, that's why I would discourage natural setups like using soil or sand uh, if it's your first time keeping ants because you do lose that visibility over what they're up to. Um, 
but I've made videos about formicariums, my thoughts on different designs, um, as well as other videos on outworlds and preparing outworlds and, and things like that. Um, Lasis Niger need three things to eat, um, the most important being water, um, but also sugar and protein. Um, and there's always a lot of questions about what I, what do I feed my ants? And all three have a dedicated video. Uh, I've made videos on how to look after your ants while well, they're still in the test tube. I've shown the first feeding when the first workers emerge um, and other videos on test tube care, how to look after a colony in a test tube. Um, and I would encourage you to keep your ants in a test tube until after hibernation. Um, yes, you are going to need to hibernate your Lacius niger over the winter. Um, this means getting them below 10 degrees but above freezing. Um, and there are videos regarding when and how to do this as well as explaining what is likely to happen if you don't do this. There are videos on preparing for hibernation, what the ants are like in hibernation, how to come out of hibernation. I've put all of the Lacius Niger videos into one playlist. Um, but as I said here, um, in the comments section of this video, I will break it down into different sections and put links to the videos which cover that. Um, and this will allow you to jump straight to a topic you're interested in learning about, rather than having to maybe watch all the videos, because some of them have got some slightly strange titles. Um, I hope that what I've created will give any brand new ant keeper a, a comprehensive guide and answers all of the questions that brand new people to the hobby might have. Um, regarding the channel, uh, I will continue to post updates on my colonies um, and I will doubtless take some film of the, the, the coming nuptial flights, uh, but I don't feel the need to keep recording everything as it happens, um, so my videos will probably become slightly less frequent. Uh, I'm happy I managed to record this last year and that the, the channel's come full circle and we're back at the start of another nuptial flight season. Um, so welcome to ant keeping if you are new and finding my channel for the first time. Uh, and for all of those who have been following for the last year, good luck in the coming season if you're planning to catch new queens or if you're planning to swap species, especially I know a lot of you this year are going to try and find uh, Lacius flavus queens. So good luck with that. Um, thank you for watching everybody um, and like I said the whole point of this video is the comment section. Look there for whatever bit of information you want to find the answer to if you're looking up to start a Lacius Niger colony. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>